Oh, we cleave. You guys think I'm going to die? I think I'm going to die. Good morning, KO23R. Oh my god, his whole team's off will. I'm scared. A oh, galleon's letting me down right at the beginning. I missed crit on the Dominic. Okay, we're good. We won. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. 1539. I could not tell you for, for G2, sorry. Or for uh for Conk and Blue. I only really watch the Guardian ranks usually. Bum, 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 ba -da -ba -da -bum. Taking too many summer classes. Monk a W. Blue Elephant Gaming? Yeah, we're picking up Talc today. I think Talc will be fun. Oh, there goes my attack buff. Look, he does no damage to me at all. <laughs> violent. Oh, no violent. I kind of want the defense buff. Immunity? She's going to skip the... Oh, she's not using it. Okay. Look how much damage he does! <laughs> he literally does no damage. It's great. Oh! Now he does even less damage. You just got someone killed in Fall Guys? What the? That's toxic. Ooh, provoke. Easy. Oh no, stop. My buffs. I need those. Alright, we we'll just kill Molly first. Provoke. Stop. He's dying. Oh. Oh. 31k. Let's go. Defense buff. Stop that. Now we heal. Easy. Game is easy. Look at this. Look at this easy game. Blue Elephant Gaming, guys. Blue Elephant Gaming. Kind of pog. Look, he even has provoke. Oh, my God. Blue Elephant Gaming. Kind of pog, though. My boy Talc bringing it back. My boy Talc. He coming back. He's in it to win it. This is actually pretty poggers, though. Bringing back Talc is pretty poggers. Oh, look at that Tessa damage, though. Tessa just popping off. Yeah, 3.5k from Talc. The boy. Dude, Talc is gaming. I'm sacrificing my Sav, guys. I'm letting Sav die. It's happening. Sav's going to get sacked here. Goodbye, Sav. You were the sacrificial one. It was worth. It was totally worth. <laughs> it was totally worth it. Savannah was the best sacrifice. Uh oh. One six oh seven sav true true true. <laughs> uh thanks Sav for your extended warranty. Yo, Waddle Sub, thanks for the five months. What's going on? Welcome back. Appreciate you. <laughs> Thing left. I believe. Thanks for the heads up, though. If he outspeeds me, I deserve to lose. Whoa, he lived!
I think the best one is still Nana Escher Cigar, but that's mainly because Mali runes are just so good, right? It's really hard to like actually say this defense is good, if that makes sense. This defense has the potential to RNG people because people tend to bring too little damage to actually kill the Theo. Which is like really the only time you ever lose. Like even if he kills my even if he kills my Lulu here, my chance to win is still pretty good. I've never actually gone for the cigar first, but it might it might work. Did he get revenged? He pushed me back though. But I have full oh that heal is pretty good. Uh I'm I mean I provoked into him. I might kill him anyways. I think I am going to kill him anyways. You just don't have enough damage with this team. Like, because the cigar doesn't do enough damage, in my opinion. And most people don't build the molly with damage. So the molly doesn't really do anything. It just sits there. You know what I mean? So, like, I made a YouTube video talking about trap defenses. When I built my my Molong uh, Savannah molly for Sea Tournament, I actually ran my molly on Curry with plus water. And it got a couple wins because it, like... People just never attack Molly first, so if Molly's just sitting there dealing damage, like, she becomes a threat, right? If I run triple destroy, it becomes a threat. The problem is so many people who build siege defenses, especially mid-season, they just build it whatever everyone else built it, which is, like, not how you should build your defenses. Everyone's defense should be different, and that that's what makes it scary, right? Is you can never expect the same thing, and then suddenly you have to, like, rethink your strategies going into it. But if everything's the same, it's just so easy to beat. Like this guy's this guy's defense probably had maybe two sets of destroy. I don't think the Molly's on destroy. I bet you she's on them. But like I'm not hitting enough to proc them, so it doesn't matter, right? Ah, uh, actually she might not be on them. She might be on destroy. Even then, it's just like it just lacks too much, right? It lacks too much. I really like cigars, you know. I think cigars amazing. Strip into reset pushback is really strong. But I think the thing that holds this defense back the most is, like, that third unit doesn't really... Like, a lot of the time, it's just garbage. It's just garbage. Wow. Well, there's nothing wrong with being degen. You're just one of us. Oh, damn. Revenge Theo, I don't think is it on this defense. I think it has to be on Destroy. It can work on Revenge as long as I don't have Leo. But if I have Leo, your Revenge does nothing. You know, maybe the answer is guys, I just have two pay to win of offenses. I'm just uh I'm just a dirty Feng Yen Leo user. Three Feng Leos is three free wins into this offense. Or into this defense. There's like very little chance you ever lose. Yeah. My units are also minus twenty and minus twenty two water, so they don't take any damage anyways. It's like this cigar on this team does no damage, so it doesn't matter. And it's not like I have to like run high damage to outpace them. I just run destroy runes. Destroy runes are nuts. I remember all the times people were like, destroy runes fucking suck. Why would you ever use destroy runes? This is why. This is why I use destroy runes. Because destroy runes literally fuck. Il Chung Pong, Jogun Lucian this defense. Uh, I, I don't take risks like that. It, it works, but I don't take risks. Which is why I'm consistently... Like, not taking risks gives you consistent offense win rate, right? But at the same time, like, I'm also willing to spend 10 million mana in a siege to move runes. Which I know a lot of people are not willing to do. Bah, bah. 
You love the risk? Not for me. I like I like winning. I never want to be a burden for my guild. But if you get them down to it's forty percent, it's forty percent. If you get them down to forty percent, you can't kill them. You built, you brought the wrong defense. You bring Leica for Leo for this, not into Theomars. Leica into Theomars is suicide. It's pretty hard not to kill things at forty percent when additional damage exists, right? Leo just nerfs the damage too much. Leo absolutely neuters you. It's crazy. Nice reset. Nice defense break. Okay, this might be the one, guys. Might be the one. Enough procs to kill me here. Enough procs will kill me. Let's see how it goes. Oh, not enough. He tried. He tried. He gave it an honest effort. Damage, Theo, no need for speed. He just gets so much from speed, though. It's so valuable. Not being pushed back there is really big. Be nice to you. Is that you I'm fighting right now? This is a slow, arduous match. I'm not getting the revenge from Theo that I'm looking for. Strip my revenge buff. You're in the other guild? Are you... I don't remember what guilds we're fighting, to be honest. Hmm. Push back. I still live. Oh! <laughs> Not as much! Da -da 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 -da. There we go, we pop that. You're in oh, yes, true, true, true. I honestly don't really look at the guilds we fight, I just look at the defenses. I'm just like, ah, yes, this is free to Leo Feng, or ha, ah, yes, this is honorable. Feels good, man. Mo Molly, Nana Sav, all Leo food. Mo Molly. I think Mo Molly depends. I actually beat somebody's Mo, uh, Leo, uh, Fang Leo, with my Mo Molly, but it really depends on how you build things. Overall, it should be pretty free in most cases, though. Leo passive is too good.
What if it were only to be like that for Siege Tournament? A lot of guilds would struggle really hard in Siege Tournament, I'll tell you that right now. I would watch a lot of guilds struggle really, really hard. It would be really funny to me, but it wouldn't be very funny to most people. All you need is 18 runes and a bunch of dupes. That's not necessarily true, though. That's like such a shallow perspective on it. Like, if you only needed 18, 18 runes and a bunch of dupes, I think like tons of people would be fucking in top tier siege, right? It's not actually true. How does Ethna win this? Crit damage destroy. Oh! Ariel lives. Still? Wow. Oh, Pog. Free win. I want this. Um, even with all the procs, he still lives. I'm kind of shocked. I didn't think he'd survive that well. It actually works better with Lulu because Lulu heals on skill one. Basically, using Ethna, if you spam skill two, you destroy everyone really fast. Yo, Marty, thank you for the 17 months. What's going on, dude? How you been? Hello, hello. Like, if if anything, sure. If you only need 18 runes and a bunch of dupes, that's like only offense. Assuming you don't run any defenses, right? It's tough. Even if you have 10 tractor windy lose with great runes, like, it doesn't always win. It really depends on the map of the enemy. And the higher you go, the harder it gets to do that too, because you get some really strong LD defenses. Isn't G3 all about building dupes? Uh, you build dupes for some things, but you don't you don't generally have like 10 of things. G3 is actually so G3 is split up in three different things. So G3 is G3 is split up into three different things. You have your barely making G3 guilds, which are not even G3 guilds. Like they're not considered G3 guilds, right? They barely, barely ever make it. Then you have your top 20. Your top 20 is your tournament roster, right? The top 20 generally consists of guilds between rank 12, uh, between rank 9 and rank 25, maybe up to 30, because those are the guilds that actually compete for those spots. And then you have, and then you have top 8. And then if you really want to get into the details, then you have top 2. So top 8 is a lot different than that. Top 8 is about building dupes because dupes are effective for offenses. But what's most important for top 8 is about properly testing things setting up every possible last outcome you can you can to have a win condition and to really 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 know how other players think because even if you build lots of dupes at high levels we change our runes on our defenses and we change our artifacts on our defenses right so you can rely on the exact same team but if we've built the team now to counter your counter then you lose right and a lot of that happens a lot of the time in siege tournament that's why, that's why MST is still so popular after all this time, right? MST is still so popular because there's so many different ways to beat it. Even if there's four good free-to-play counters, if you bring the wrong counter into the wrong defense, you're going to lose 100% of the time. Like, if you try to Mirana Lucian me, and I'm built to counter Mirana Lucian, you're going to lose. If you try to beat me with Water Twins, and I'm built to kill a Light Tank, I'm going to kill that Light Tank, right? If you're running Tractor Witty Lulu, and I run super high damage efficient Twins, I'm probably going to beat you because I'm going to outpace you. Right? Especially if I run my twins on destroy. The the thing that when it comes to like really, really, really high tier siege, it comes down to understanding what people are gonna bring into you and hard countering it and constantly changing it and abusing that. Bum, bum. Alright, let's see if we get unlucky. Are you winning? I'm doing alright. Oh, that's not great. Could be worse. That's a lot of damage. Uh, I will do this. Don't need skill two yet. Oh, nice procs. Loggers. Million dots. Dots for days. Dots for days. Literal days. Kill block protection. Evoke. 
Nice provoke. Slow that guy. That guy's gonna die to dots and kill Lulu. Unlucky. Oh! Wait, he actually revenges that? Wait, I didn't know that's how it worked. Oh, I guess because he didn't die from dots, he died from the hit. That makes sense. Okay. Ba -ba -da -ba. This offense is lit. I agree. This offense is lit. Ba -ba -da. You guys ready? Uh, just to double check, this thing doesn't strip. Okay, it doesn't strip. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. All right, goodbye, Dominic. You'll be missed. Later. <laughs> oh, it never gets old, man. It never gets old. <laughs> it literally never gets old. Oh my God. Goodbye, Ella. It's funny every time. It's funny every time. <laughs> it's just always funny. <laughs> every time, man. Every time. Nice kinky, brother. Kinky's not allowed to have fun anymore. Fuck kinky. Weird looking over on you. Yeah. No fun for you. <laughs> this offense is so dumb. <laughs> I love that it exists, though. It's so great. Doing all right, I'm chilling. Phony, phony, phony. Oh. No, I still kill this first. Oh, Pog. Crit. Oh, not enough. Damn, that was a pretty pretty clean sweep. Easy 10-0, Poogers. Today was a pretty chill siege. Feels good, man.